All right, so I've been doing a lot of cutting with the chainsaw and the blade has started to get dull, especially on those roots, like the, uh, the big vines that go up in the trees. And right when I was getting done yesterday, I snagged one of those and it popped the chain off. So it's time to change the blade on this with a sharp blade so I can get the other one sharpened. Cool thing about chainsaws is pretty much the only tool you really ever need is the multi-tool. Occasionally you may need the little small tool for adjusting carburetors and different things like that, but we're gonna use this tool today. All right, so one of the cool things is you get to use the multi-tool for pretty much everything. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to loosen up these two large nuts on the blade. I'm gonna support the blade with my hand here as I get the second nut off. I'm gonna remove this cover, okay? Setting this cover down, I'm gonna take the blade off or that bar off right there. Now, if you come over here, you'll see this is what the chain runs on. This is where you can set the tension. I'm gonna clean up all of this little sawdust here so I can easily work on what I need to work on. I'm gonna blow off anything loose with my blower. Then I'm gonna wipe this area clean. So the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the old chain from the bar, and then I'm gonna wipe off any dirt off the bar, which isn't really too much, but I'm gonna make sure it's clean. When I purchased this chainsaw, I actually got an extra chain with it and a case and some other things um, as part of the deal, even this hat. So that was kind of cool, that was a good buy. So it's always handy to have an extra chain if you, ha if you can because well, this one is on here, I can be sharpening or get the other one sharpened. So what I'm gonna do now is put the blade on the bar. Uh, in the past, I've always had them sharpened, but I am contemplating buying a sharpener because I will be doing a lot of cutting. If you look at the tip of the saw, you can see there's little teeth. Basically what happens is that chain rides in those teeth. And then it goes down in the groove along the side here. So we're just going to kind of get that in there temporarily because it's going to fall back out as we put it on. And so the other part, the chainsaw is actually activated by this. So what we're going to do is put this on here and get that in the groove. And then you can see right here is where the tensioner goes. So now that I've got that there, I'm going to take my cover, get it lined up here, support the blade from the bottom so it doesn't come off there, push it down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand tighten these knots on the outside and then we're going to check our tension and see if we need to uh, tighten it up a little bit. Okay, so right now, actually our tension is pretty good, but see where those that comes out a little bit? I like it so it's right about there, so there's it's not where it comes off the blade. So I'm gonna give this a tighten a little bit, clockwise. Okay, and just maybe a touch more. And these nuts are just hand tight. Okay, so you don't want the, you don't want the blade so tight that there's no flexibility there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and then tighten these up. So not too difficult. Obviously you've got to be able to do that if you're going to have a chainsaw because you want to be able to take care of it when you need it. For more videos like this, go to our channel and click on any of the playlists. Also, you can check out uh, more stuff at www.befreebenson.com. Remember, doing things yourself, doing them safely, not chopping off an arm and a leg, allows you to be free. See you in the next video.